Welcome to Let's Play Castle of Elite. Get used to this music, by the way. Um, Castle of Elite is... We've been playing through a lot of Daniel Ramar's games. Um, starting back with Hyper Princess Pitch and working our way through Princess Remedy and EG. Castle of Elite is the one of his earlier games, and it's the final fully released game that he made independently, that he put up as a work, as a personal work on his site. He, of course, has still done more and worked on more, but this will actually draw to a close the games that he has made personally. So it's a little bit old, uh, not a lot going on here. Um, it's kind of a puzzle platformer, for lack of a better word. Um, you've got your character down here. You can actually play as whoever you want to play. Uh, normal boy, normal girl, summer guy, summer girl, cool guy, cool girl. Um, summer girl, sure why not. Summer girl is the one on the on the, on his page. So. There's the easy block here, like World 1, I guess you could say. And you can have access to all 12 stages within it, but let's start at stage 1 and work our way over. You can press a button for hints, if you want to. But the game is played primarily with um, WASD and the mouse. So when you grab one of these, you see it gives you the option to put a block down. And since this is effectively the tutorial, he gives you three just in case you mess up. The goal of the game is to collect all of the coins, the little things with these X's on them. Once you get them all, the exit lights up. And especially early on, you can see a guide of sorts as to where to put things. And you can right-click on these bricks in order to break them. We also now have seen that they come in an arcing pattern as well. So our hint tells us to put that over here. And if I had to wager, we're supposed to put this here. but it doesn't last forever. You can put it over top of the blue things, but it will break the blocks eventually. Red ones, on the other hand, break it immediately. Thankfully, we don't need to, we need, don't need to go down on the right. Okay, so kind of teaching you about your jumps. You can make a two block wide jump. You can also only jump up one. You cannot, however, jump up two. And we see the symbol there to make the block, so let's make a block right underneath us. The Fragile Jump Boots. So you see the pattern we're supposed to put this in. And then we break those to get across, and the boots are gone. What do the jump boots do? Well, they just let us jump higher. They don't give you a double jump or anything, you can just jump two blocks now. The Sweeper. Dude will be giving us trouble, but all he does is bounce back and forth, left to right. They can die as well. And you can kill them by placing blocks on top of them. The Trundler.
All the Trundle does is wander back and forth, but he is affected by gravity. You can kill him too. And finally, the Trapper. The Trapper simply moves in a straight line until it hits a wall and then makes a left turn. You can kill them too. You can kill them by placing a block on top of them, or you can alter their path. So they kill themselves. So this is one of Daniel Ramar's earlier games, obviously. Um, oh, switches. Oh, but it came back. And this is actually the first game that he put some attempt into making a... making sound... doing sound design for. So we have to get rid of that, so the only way through is this. So we're teaching us here that... If you make a block appear where you created a block, it will destroy your block. Oh. And enemies can hit switches too. Teleporters. So the uh, movie bits are your entry point, as you can see him doing. The movie bits are your entrance point, and the X-looking thing is your exit point, and it always matches color. They didn't tell you directly where to put that one, but hey, it lets you grab all the things that way. No fancy jumps or anything needed either. And at this point, we are past the tutorial. It's time for us to learn and experiment and grow all on our own. So let's see here. Um, I can jump in this blue. That blue will take me back there. But what I really want is I need those jump boots. Because I can, even if I put this, like, here, I can't jump to it. And if I put it here, that does me no good. I could put it, like, here and make my way over to the bit on the right, but what exactly does that do for me? What can I do with it that's useful? What I need to do is hit the yellow switch so I can go down here, get not only a coin, but also the boots, which is going to open up some stuff for us. So what I'm going to want to do is that and that. Let him get that, and he will die eventually up there. Sorry, guy. Now, I don't like putting blocks over top of the blue if I can help it. I just don't like it. I cannot make that jump. However, I can just go in here, and then I'm back up here. Now it's super easy to hop all the way up. Now after you complete each set of levels, it opens up a secret. Jumpman! Jumpman! You don't have any means of taking care of these guys, and they just teleport back to the top. If you um, see where the teleporter goes, by the way, it goes right into those two blue guys. Which the enemies pass through, but you do not. So I gotta race up here. Crap. So I'm gonna wanna go for it right after this guy. I did it. I made it. Now for the home stretch. We did it! Hey! 
And having completed the secret, we now have... Jump Guy and Jump Girl! So, I suppose, until next time, everyone, this has been our introduction to Castle of Elite. Next time, we will take on World 2, the medium difficulty levels.